Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to part three of my Unraid server rebuild. In part two, we got all of our new hardware put into our Define 7XL case. We got our CPU, our motherboard, our new SSD, etc. So everything's basically in and ready. Today, in this episode, what we're needing to do is we're needing to move all of our drives from our old server into the new one and hope that everything configures properly and no data gets lost. So let's get to it. All right, guys, this is the beast that is the old server. This is a Dell Power Edge R710 that I got from work, you know, back when I had work. I got it from them, it's used hardware, and we've been rocking this for probably two years, maybe longer, something around there. Anyways, We've got to, we got to get this open, we got to get our cache out of the top, we've got to pull our drives out of the front, get everything into the new case. But let's start by getting this out of the closet and out there where we can actually like deal with it better. Although we should really probably start with powering it down first. Probably a good first step. And this guys is why we're needing to do this. I just... The fact that we have used 2.48 terabytes of our 2.5 terabyte total capacity, like we only have like 60 gigs free. That's it. Now, I think we're going to run into a problem because we've got 103 gigabytes used on our cache drive. And well, all of that data needs to go somewhere for us to be able to transfer to our new cache drive. And I'm not really sure how we're going to do that because that data, I believe, needs to transfer to the disks, which are full. Now, I think we might have a VM or two that are sitting on the cache drive that we can probably delete. We probably don't need. So we'll probably look into that. I think we should be fine to move everything over first. That way we at least get it in the new case and get it functioning and then try to figure out how we're going to move everything over. So let's get this thing powered down and start getting stuff moved over. All right, so we've got this thing out. We do need to open it up. So there's a few things we need from inside. Um, so let's see here, we need this. So this is what Unraid is on. It just runs off of this little USB here. And it's kind of a bummer that I don't have an internal USB header on the new one, but we'll just plug this into the back. It'll be fine. And then I also need to get this out. So this is our cache drive. We actually installed this in place of the DVD drive that was in here, or CD drive, whatever it was. So we'll just slide this out. So there we've got our old Samsung. I think this was an 860 Evo. We'll get this cleaned up, get it removed from this cage, and we'll get it put into the new box. Let's try and get our drives out. So we got drives we've got dust everywhere my gosh this thing is filthy oh my gosh all right so we've got a lot of drives to try to work with here we've got six drives we need to get removed from their current cages installed to the new case so let's get this done All right, correction, 850 EVO. So this is our, so this is our Samsung 850 EVO, 250 gigabyte. This was the cache drive we were using. So we'll be migrating off of this onto our new M.2. But uh, yeah, so this will just get mounted to the back. Alright, so these have all been freed from the drive cages now, so we need to get them into their new 
trays and get them mounted. So let's get some of these trays out of the way. Alright, so everything's in its new cages now. So let's start getting it put in. This is our parity drive. We're going to put our parity drives right in here. I think we're going to have two in the long term. Um, we only have one right now. We'll eventually have two. I don't know we'll go for more than two. I think two will be adequate for our needs. But uh, yeah, so let's get this in. Let's start getting these other drives in and go from there. We probably need to move this though. So this thing's becoming something of a pain, but we've got everything to the point that it should work. Uh, we had to get creative with this power cable. It's like barely reaching. We wound up changing where it plugs into the power supply. That gave us just enough slack along with moving these drive cages over some um, that we are able to get everything plugged in. I did not retighten these. <sighs> Anyhow. So, we'll get this thing up and booted. Things that we need to change hardware-wise though. Um, we need better power delivery because there's no way any of our cables are gonna to reach to the upper drives or to our CD drive, etc. So we're gonna to have to figure out some better power cables for that. Um, we're just, we just, we need better power management. So we're gonna probably need to make some custom cables. We'll need to figure out just how many um, drives a single one can handle. It's not going to hurt to have two or three in here. We'll probably go three and split it up. That'll be about six drives per cable plus our DVD drive and such. Anyhow, we'll have to do some maths, figure that out, but we definitely need longer cables. We need cables that are going to be more well suited for this. We need to work on our cable management a little back here because it's a hot mess. We need to fix all of our fan setup, which we can do, but we have to rotate the CPU cooler first, which I really wish we didn't have to do, but it's gonna be for the better good because we've got cables just kind of everywhere for fans right now, and I'm not terribly thrilled about it because they're getting in the way. Um, but let's just try to get this thing running and make sure everything's happy, yeah? Helps when it's plugged in. So, try that again. Power. All right, so it's been a few hours. We've been pulling hair out, trying to figure out why Unraid would not boot. And I am happy to say I, I actually didn't boot it the way I wanted to. I wanted to boot with a GUI so that I could like set everything up just 
here on the monitor, but I guess I will actually have to try to log in. So hopefully it grabs the correct IP address. We're a little crooked here, but we finally got it to boot. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the magic change was. I know, okay, yes, it has the right IP, that's good. Okay, so we're probably good. We'll just have to log in normal like. Part of the issue may have been the BIOS version. So we wound up updating our BIOS. Uh, we had, we were on version F3. We're now running version F6. That kind of reset all the settings and maybe there was something in there that I haven't touched, that I had touched before. Anyhow, it's running now, it's booting now. Um, it looks like we are having an issue hitting the server. Hopefully it, uh, it might be worth rebooting it, getting the GUI up, that way I can just configure everything and we can call it good and close it all up for now. Except we can't close it up for now because we still have to put in the other new drive. Anyhow, we are booting now. Um, my suggestion, if you go with this board or probably similar gigabyte board, especially if you have issues, update the BIOS and only make like the minimum changes. So stuff like all your virtualization, it looks like should already be enabled if you've got a CPU that supports it, but go in, change the CSM support needs to be enabled, I believe. And then it had, we had, oh, whatever the different settings were. The first one was enabled, the second one for the PCIe devices. So the storage boot was just legacy. PCI devices was set for UEFI um, and I set the drive to, I think I set it back to Force HDD. Um, I might double check those things, but it is booting now, which is good, but it doesn't look like we're able to find it. Hmm. All right guys, it is several hours later. We've had to jump through a bunch of hoops. so. We're gonna pull this bum drive out now and we're gonna pray that things work the way that they're supposed to. And we're gonna just rebuild the drive from parity. It's unfortunate that we're gonna lose some storage, but at the same time, it's in order to get this thing to actually show up, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So I think it's worth just putting in our new drive. Uh, we'll have it rebuild onto that. And then we're gonna to try to redistribute our data because I don't really, like where all of our data is right now it's not it's not separated between the drives the way i really want it to be and the way i think it needs to be in order to minimize drive spin up and also to kind of help us you know have best performance and not have like 5000 degree temperatures and stuff um so we had an issue where our network card or our you know our 2.5 gigabit ethernet was not basically the drivers weren't being loaded because they didn't exist so we had to update to Unraid 6.9, the uh, beta 25, I think it is that we're running right now. So we did that, which was a pain in the butt because we had to put the, the, uh, the USB back in the old box and then I didn't have a VGA cable here. So even though I had a monitor that I could connect to it, I had no way to actually you know, get it booted up in a way that I could see what was going on. So. We got a VGA cable from my parents' house. Um, we got things booted up. We were able to, ooh, listen to it, power on. We got it booted up, we did the update. The update only took like two minutes. It's like I spent all this time trying to find a cable for something that took two minutes. So it's updated, it's now showing up. We are able to access it over the internet. So it's got an IP, everything's looking good. I kind of want to do a speed test. I'm kind of curious to do a speed test, but we'll have to see how we might be able to do that. But we are going to get things booted up. We're going to start trying to move um, our cache drive stuff over to our new disk and uh, get this, get the, uh, get our array rebuilt because we need to recover our data that we have now lost. Yeah. So let's get to it. All right, guys, let's get things wrapped up here. So we've got, we've got our old server here. We've gotten it all blown out. I got out my duster. We took it outside. We blew all of the insane amount of dust out of it. I cannot believe how much dust was in that thing, but we got it all blown out. It's pretty clean now. I am not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but we got the original RAID card installed back in it. Um, I've got the other 
LSI one in there also. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to sell this thing or if maybe the family will come up with something else we can do with it. I don't know. I don't know yet. I know on eBay it would, you know, it probably costs more to ship it than the thing's worth. So I just, I don't know. I don't know. Any house, we've got, we've got our new server just sitting here. It is currently rebuilding the array since we had that drive go down and um, it's kind of toasty. I mean, we've got drives that are like 126 degrees here, you know, just trying to catch on fire. That's all good. So we're going to work on continuing to get this set up. We'll probably do anything more in another video as far as getting things allocated correctly, getting things moved to the cache and whatnot. But uh, otherwise, you know, we've just got another Another, ooh, it's up to 19 hours now. It keeps going up and down. Another 19 hours before everything's rebuilt and usable and where we need it to be. But that's where we're at. That's how things are going. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. So long.